We're going to try and boil this kettle with the bike generator. <laughs> I think it's going to be quite tough. problem we've got is that to power a normal kitchen kettle takes 3000 watts of electrical power. Now using this bike generator, as you'll know if you've watched some of our other videos, that would take 4000 watts of physical power from our legs. Now that is just too much for any human being to do. So we're using a travel kettle. Now this takes a lot less power but it's still too much for us to power for the length of time it would take to boil, which for that is about half an hour on full power. So we've got a gadget to help us out. Now this is a pulse width modulator and what it means as I can demonstrate using the starter battery is that we can adjust the power to the kettle as a percentage of the total power that the kettle is able to draw and that means we can just generate the amount of power that we are able to at any particular time. So we can still boil the kettle it'll just take a bit longer. Now, I'll do a separate video for anyone who's interested on how that works. Uh, but for now, let's make the team. Are you getting this? Yeah. <laughs> That's going in there. That's going in there. Okay, so we've got the team. Three quarters of the team here. We've got Bex. Hello. And Andrew. Hello. How are you feeling, guys? Confident. We're going to do it. Yeah, excited. We're going to nail it. We're going to nail it. So, the plan is... We're going to do rotations so that's how we're going to be able to get the uh, power hard enough to be able to get the water hot enough so we're going to do two minutes each or one to two minutes each and we're going to alter the current to the kettle using the pulse width modulator that i showed you earlier so we're going to set it to the percentage the maximum percentage that each of us can manage for that duration of time and we're going to quickly swap out and swap back in so that's how we're going to do it let's get it done Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're nearly ready to start. Uh, we've just done a warm up. Uh, we're just doing a quick shout out here to Valor Energy. We are powering this attempt with Valor Energy Gels. If you've not seen Valor Gels before, they are awesome. They're completely all natural. They've got matcha tea, real maple syrup, Anglesey sea salt. Um, and there's a video on our channel with the founder of Valor Energy, Jem Wilson. So check that out as well. Jem's an awesome human being uh, and Valor Energy are really good. So check them out, links below. Okay, we're ready to start. This is the first. Uh, once we go, we can't stop. We're gonna keep the water heating. Um, here we go. Okay, we're getting energy in. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, we've got up half a degree. <laughs> half a degree Celsius, we've got up. Come on, get to 25, mini girl. Oh. Oh, easy. <laughs> you didn't drop any temperature then either. It's been up wow. 25, 23. You clock on, Bex. And you clock what you're on. Uh, three, okay, three four. Three four, yeah. Right, so five, thirty. What's the change? Yeah, that's a minute. One minute, come on Max. One more minute, one more minute, you've got this, you've got this. Okay, Andrew's turn, Andrew's turn. Yeah, quick. Sorry to change the saddle hard for Andrew because it's a bit tall. Uh, yeah. 29 degrees. Let's go. 60% is doing 60. You're on. Six minutes, minutes, not eight minutes, two minutes, sixty percent.
Say nine. We're there, but I think uh -huh. we, we got it. Uh -huh. The first minute, it's fairly easy. Second minute, it's torture. It's hard. I'm glad I've got the team here doing this. I think it really struggled to do it on my own. I did try once on my own. After an hour and a half, <laughs> I got it to about 60 degrees and I was absolutely shafted. So I just want to do a quick shout out to Wanjun here, who has come all the way from Liverpool today to support us. Uh, Wanjun has been behind the camera all day and she is the founder of Shume, which is a Chinese grocery delivery service in Liverpool. So she's just going to tell us a little bit about it. Well, yeah. So first of all, I'm really excited to be here today to see the genius people to do this fantastic project. Proud of you. Thank and, you. <laughs> and we do a grocery delivery in Liverpool. Um, if you're interested in uh, shopping groceries with your neighbours and save more, please check out. So that's it. If you are in Liverpool in the UK and you want fresh Chinese groceries delivered to a collection point near you for free, no minimum order, check out the link in the description below. Keep going. 10 seconds, 10 <laughs> seconds. You got it, come on. You got it, 10 more seconds. Go on, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five seconds, four, three, Two, one, yeah. go! Ah. Next, <laughs> fill in. 62 degrees. 62, 62 degrees! Come on, 62! What I'm expecting is, as the water gets further from thermodynamic equilibrium, with its surroundings, it's going to be harder to heat. So I think the second half might take a bit longer. We're also going to get more tired, so we'll have to reduce the percentage current that we're putting through the element. There are going to be now much greater convection currents in the water, so the temperature is going to fluctuate more because the water's moving around a little bit more in the kettle. So there'll be pockets of cooler water and pockets of warmer water. So we're going to get a slightly fluctuating reading. We're 40% so. I'm full. Yeah, I'm full. Like, that's a technical problem. Uh, so we just, we just got a virtually unlimited resistance in the alternator. May have been a sinusoidal force. Uh, I might have gone too slow. Hopefully we've not blown anything. Uh, just recharging the capacitor from the battery. I'm going to kick the alternator back in just to test see if we're see if we're all right. We're okay. So it must have been. Uh, once you just got too uneven with my pedalling, sometimes it's a risk. With an alternator needs to be turned at constant speed, 
above two and a half thousand RPM this one and if you go below that you get sinusoidal variations and cause it to suddenly lock up I think that's what happened so we're back on we're back on so I'm going to do a little time at 50 and then I'm going to ramp it right up to 100 and see if I can get a chunk of, chunk of energy in Oh. Oh, they're up to 90. Uh. Uh. 89. Go on. 89. Uh. 90. 90. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. So, just for, just for comparison, I was putting out about 410 watts of leg power then. <laughs> that is a one third of the leg power that Mathieu van der Poel did last year to win the final sprint up the hill on Strada Bianca. He did three times that amount of leg power for 30 seconds. Wow. It just puts into perspective mortals like us, the superstars that are riding professional cycling. Come on. Oh. Is it 100? Is that it? Uh, is it 100? Wait, wait, wait. Are you on Fahrenheit now? <laughs> oh yeah, it's maxing out. I can't get right 100. <laughs> is it 100? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we've done it. Yes! Yes, we've done it. <laughs> We're up. <laughs> well done, team. Woo! Yes. Yes. Team Systemic, well done. Well Boil done. the kettle with a bike generator. <laughs> Check it out. Do you want? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to make a brew. Okay, now somewhat ironically, uh, we've got to cool the water down slightly because we're making uh, gunpowder green tea, uh, which is best brewed at 80 to 85 degrees. Uh, but we boiled the kettle on principle, so we boiled the kettle. So it now means we've got a bit more water to share between a lot of us. It's ceremonial brewing of the tea that we that we have earned. Masterpiece. Well done guys. Well done guys. Well done. <laughs> I can't believe you need to put a jumper on. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really hard work. I can't believe we did it. It's really cool. Hardest stern brew I've ever had in my life. I can tell you that. Uh, there's loads of other good stuff on the channel. So if you want to find out about how this bike generator works, what if you want to see us building one and doing experiments with it and that kind of thing, check out the other stuff on the channel. And we've got lots of stuff on there about what Systemic Creative does, systems thinking and so on and so forth. So check us out, give us a like, give us a subscribe and all that good stuff. And have a good day. We'll see you again soon.